Welcome back to EPM Org. Today we are going to start a new multi-week Bible study titled The Ten Commandments, which will take us from the first commandment clear to the tenth commandment. Today in lesson one, we will be talking about the first commandment. In order to succeed in this world today, you must first see the first steps of the staircase. For you don't have to see the whole staircase to take that very first step with God. For if you have great faith, you will have a great blessing. And if you have little faith, you will receive a little blessing. But if you have no faith, God's blessings will not find you in your life. For you see clear back in the book of Genesis, in the Bible, for it is written in Genesis 1-1, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Not man created the heaven and the earth, but God. Not some other figment of our imagination created heaven and the earth, but God. For we also know from reading our Bibles that in the book of Genesis, for it is written in Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 through 28, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, and every creature that crawls upon the earth. What a mighty God must we have to created us in his own image. But as we know from reading through our Bible, that God left us with some would call them laws, rules, but he called them commandments. For when we are commanded to do something, we tend to do it more than just being told. But commanded stands out in authority. The power or the right to give orders make decisions, and enforce ob obediences, or a person or organization having power or control in a particular, typical, political, or of administrative sphere. The first commandment that God left us to follow is in the book of his ex Exodus. Chapter 20, and he states in verse 1 through 6, And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, or any likenesses of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, and am a jealous God, visiting the inquitors of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and the fourth generations of them that hate me, and suing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. The first commandment that God spoke to Moses, that Moses called all of Israel and said to them in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5, and he states in verses 2 through 10, The Lord our God made a covenant with us thereby. The Lord may not 
this covenant with our fathers, but with us, and even us who are all of these here alive today. The Lord talked with you face to face, in the mount, out of the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and the, you at the time, to sue you word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire, and went out not up into the mountain, saying, I am Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have known other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee graven images or any likenesses of any that is in heaven above or that is on earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them nor serve them for I am Lord God am a jealous God, visiting the inquiries of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me, and screwing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep thy commandment. Who is able to read these words? All right, without doubtness, already see in them the sentence for many who do not observe this most exalted of all the commandments thou shalt not have no other gods many men read far little into these words he has made it too easy for himself God may give you more than you can handle but he will never leave you to handle it alone for thy am Lord thy God thou shall have no other gods amen until next time God bless